come with me and take a tour of the machine quilting category at the International Quilt Festival. There is so much to see. Hey guys, welcome back to Francis Quilts. This is Francis Arnold and today I'm at the International Quilt Festival in Houston, Texas. We've had three magnificent days of looking around the show and today for Free Motion Friday, I thought we'd look at some of the free motion quilting uh, that's been uh, on display here. I hope you'll join me. This first quilt is called Naughty But Nice. And look at the amazing micro quilting that's going on here. She's using some really, really fine thread and doing just some totally wonderful quilting. I love that it's kind of a light blue thread and that just goes perfectly with everything that's going on here. Actually looking at it, did she match those colors? She may have kind of matched the, the uh, quilting thread to some of the colors that are in the block. And look at this border right here. Just look at the definition that she got just from um, using little tiny fills and probably a wool batting or something like that. Gorgeous, gorgeous quilt. This one's called a peek through the kaleidoscope. And again, let's come in and just look at some of the quilting. She has some really pretty pebbles there with some little swirls going in every so often and a lot of magnificent straight lines. Again, the quilting just gives so much uh, texture and helps, uh, just so, gives this quilt such a boost. But that's what machine quilting is supposed to do, isn't it? This next quilt is the third place winner and it's called Dream Flower. And what I want you to see, and I'll back up so you can see the whole thing in a minute, is look at this teeny, teeny, tiny, tiny, tiny micro stippling that she has going on. I don't know how you stipple that slowly or that closely together. I've got to figure that one out. And look at this wonderful design that she has, uh, has uh, machine quilted into uh, that black fabric. Just gives a whole nother dimension to the quilting or to the quilt. And just, this isn't machine quilting, but have a look over here at this magnificent border. Isn't that fun? How she did the uh, tubes of fabric and then put a knot in them and just, absolutely gorgeous and here it is so you can see the whole thing definitely deserve that ribbon look at this beautiful quilt by uh, Tamami Makabe amazing amazing applique and then look in here at the quilting look at the designs that she has quilted in there in this border I mean that's just gorgeous I'm so excited to see that and then just all of the other quilting again lots of micro stippling lots of, of little bitty quilting uh, but just making for a gorgeous gorgeous piece this next quilt is enchanted let's go in for a look and you can just see as we're coming in how much that uh, quilting is adding to the design and look at those teeny 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 tiny uh, pebbles in there absolutely astounding and then let's have a look over here at the border again she's added a complete border design just using thread beautiful quilt this one is by Rebecca Muir McKellar and I know you see bugs but do you know why you see those bugs so um, prominently it's because of all the little bitty stippling quilting that she's done in the um, in the, the uh, blank spaces and the negative spaces between those. Again, absolutely wonderful. And here's a classic uh, double wedding ring quilt by, let me look over here and see, Alice Segner. Um, and then there was another woman that quilted it. I'll put that information on the bottom here. But again, let's just come in and look. Uh, there's a little bit of grid quilting you can see right in there. And then some other great big designs in some of those um, uh, shapes in there. Just lots of fun quilting in there. Well done. You know me and sunflowers. This one is by Nancy Juisty, and I just can't say enough about this. Obviously, it looks like the background may have been hand painted, 
and then she's added all of these wonderful petals to it. But look at the quilting that happened in this uh, seed, seed base area and in that center. That is just adding so much. Now, a lot of that's done with the fabric itself, but her quilting is just adding so much texture to it. Absolutely wonderful. Well, as you can see, I'm back in the Francis Quilt Studio. Uh, the show was magnificent all last week, and I've just loved every minute of it. It's been great to get home, though, and start trying to process some of the things that I learned and see what I want to add to my repertoire and what I want to try and what I'm thinking, oh, man, I could never do that, so just don't even try. Well, that was half of the quilts. Come back next Friday, and we'll go through the rest of them in the machine quilting division. I promise you there's tons of wonderful things to see there. I also encourage you to check out my blog that is at francisquilts.com slash blog. This past Monday, I started talking about the different categories in the quilt show and I'm spending one, two, three, or four days on each of the categories and, um, and exhibits that were there. And I just can't wait to show it to you because I love to give you little stories, things that were in the artist statement, things that I noticed and said, oh my gosh, how did they do this? I love just being able to describe all of that for you so that you can see it, even if you weren't able to be there. Or even if you were, you might want to read it as well be sure and check it out. And if you like this video today, be sure and hit that like button and maybe even consider subscribing to Francis Quilts. Well guys, thank you so much for joining me today. And as always, I look forward to seeing you next time on Francis Quilts. Remember, if you like what you've seen, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Please check out my website and daily blog at francisquilts.com and I can be found on Facebook and Instagram at Francis Quilts. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope to see you again soon.